Hi, it's Dr. West, and today is May 14th, and this is a summary of the Zoom call that we just completed looking at COVID-19 updates. We reviewed the numbers for current uh, statistics worldwide, 4.3 case, million cases worldwide, adding about 85,000 cases a day. Fully a third of those are now in the United States, where about 1.4 million cases. Virginia has 26,750 cases, adding about 1,000 cases per day. And Fairfax County has 6,700 cases, with about 200 cases on average being added daily, sometimes up to as high as 300 cases new day, a day. There have been 269 deaths in Fairfax County and um, about 82,000 deaths across the country. So um, we talked about how, a little bit about the reopening strategy um, in Northern Virginia, the mandated uh, closure can, will be extended until May 29th. However, medical offices and dentist offices, et cetera, are able to offer now um, urgent care and some routine care. Um, we are there and elective procedures will take place. So, um, but how we get from here to there is a big challenge. We need to find a way to do it safely and it will probably be broken down regionally. Really with 50 states, we have 50 different outbreak statistics to look at and to monitor. We would know for sure that masks, more testing and more tracing of contacts will be needed to really control the virus. So um, I wanted to mention a little bit about our antibody testing study that we did. We tested 350 patients and of those patients, approximately 5% tested positive for IgG or IgM antibodies. We did confirmatory nasal swabs on patients and in a similar study um, with my colleague, um, the, the lab for serology was sent as well for the IgG positive patients and they confirmed the accuracy of the test. So 5% um, prevalence is not particularly high at this time. Herd immunity is felt to kick in somewhere around 50%. So it's gonna be challenging and we're in this for the long haul. We really are not looking at a lot of international travel, most likely for at least a year. So we talked a little bit about um, protection using a face mask, the benefits and drawbacks of a face mask, but we do know that cloth coverings over the face definitely help to reduce the spread of the virus. When do you need them? Most likely when you're in an enclosed space for more than a couple of minutes, and gonna be in contact within a minimum of six feet, probably farther for the mask for um, reduction of contact with um, the germs that are being spread. So uh, stay tuned, we, the, the capacity to test will continue to increase. We uh, are now offering serology blood tests as well as both the nasal swab and also the nares swab, which is a little easier to um, get through than the deep nasal test. So lots of options. And if you have questions, please give the office a call. We're here to help. Thank you.